Hey -o, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens, it's Omni Dog from Omni Dogs Vault here today with another exciting chapter in Should I Upgrade? This is number three in the series, and I'm running out of things to upgrade, so this may be the last one. But let's start out. I got a whole stack of books here. Should you upgrade or should you just stick with what you got? First one here is Batman White Knight by Sean Gordon Murphy. Fabulous story, fabulous art. I should have and could have waited to get the inevitable deluxe and or absolute that this will definitely get. I bet this, it's kind of thin to get an absolute and if they give it an absolute, I hope they don't um, charge too much for it. But, I mean, they made Killing Joke an absolute, so they can make this an absolute. Um, I, sh I should have waited, but I couldn't wait to own this. So, um, my advice to you is to get this digitally and then buy it in absolute form or deluxe form. Because now I've got a decision to make. I've got a trade paperback, and I knew I'd have this decision to make. Now I got to figure out, is it worth upgrading to Absolute? Yeah, it is. And it costs $20. I got it on IST, so it was probably $12. So it's not going to be a big deal for me to upgrade. So I just talked myself into upgrading it. So yeah, Batman White Knight, you should definitely upgrade if you just have it in singles and or trade paperback. Okay, how about Grayson? This book doesn't get a lot a lot of people don't talk about this book but I really like this book a lot this is Dick Grayson after his um, he's exposed to the world as Robin and he goes undercover for spiral and becomes a super agent and this is a cracklingly good crack cracklingly good spy story with Grayson being uh, Dick Grayson working for Spiral and being um, a super spy. And these are great stories with great art. So if you've just got the trades of uh, Dick of Grayson or Spiral or whatever, I think it's just uh, Grayson that he works for. Um, Grayson that he works for. He works for Spiral, but um, the story, uh, the books were titled Grayson. Uh, I really like this a lot. I would upgrade to the Omnibus. This is a big, thick Omnibus. And with wonderful art, wonderful story, definitely I would upgrade. I did upgrade, as you can see. And here's something that I had in trade paperbacks and I decided to upgrade. Sometimes I won't do that, but for this series I did because this is a colossal... This was like five or six trades, and it made a huge omnibus, and it's in bigger uh, format, so that made me dig it even more. That's Gotham Central. Um, Ed Brubaker, Greg Rucka team up to make one of the great crime books ever. It doesn't really involve Batman, but involves the GCPD. This is a must-own. Only $100 for this. Check out how big this thing is. And I got rid of my small trades and instead got this beauty. So I would say definitely upgrade to the Omnibus if all you've got is the trades. Now, I think it came out in Deluxe Editions too. Um... If I had the deluxes, I'd probably hang on to them and not upgrade to the omnibuses. But all I had were the trades, so that's why I upgraded those. Uh, and I'm going to finish. I'm, I've got a little bit left of Gotham Central, so I'm going to finish that this weekend and week. Now, for those of you who are Min Mignola, Mike Mignola fans, um, a nice surprise last year were the three Abe Sapien oversized hardcovers, the collected trade paper, three trade paperbacks each. As you can see, I definitely upgraded. I am going to sell the trades because I love 
Abe Sapien and I wanted it in oversized hardcover. This these are marginally bigger than the trades, but I mean, come on. This is nice. These are nice books and not expensive either. Dark Horse just crushes it when it comes to doing uh, well-made, inexpensive books. So I would upgrade if I owned the trades, if I were you, because I did. Now here's something I'm not upgrading, but you could consider it. If you are an oversized fan of great artwork and a great story, um, I didn't, I'm not going to just because I have, what is it, eight, eight books and it's not finished yet. Um, and that's American Vampire. Unfortunately, these are standard size and they've come out with an omnibus now of, um, not sure how many, it's maybe the first three or four, uh, books. But American Vampire is one of Scott Snyder's better books. Really, really good uh, modern vampire take that skips through time to uh, tells about Skinner Sweet at various times during uh, the American um, West and the Depression and the 20s and things like that. Modern times, it skips around and tells about Skinner Sweet, the vampire. And he's a different kind of vampire. He can exist in the sunlight. Very, very good book. Uh, I've already got a lot invested in these standard size hard standard size hardcovers, so I'm going to stick with those. If all you've got is the trades, or digitally, or um, the floppies, I would definitely upgrade to the omnibus. Um, now here's where I totally contradict myself, and this is just me, my wanting. A book in hardcover because I loved it so much. It's not much bigger than the trades. It's a deluxe edition. Um, this is just uh, my wanting to have this book in oversized hardcover deluxe, and that's Sheriff of Babylon. Um, it it isn't that much bigger than a tr the trades, the two trades, but it's all in one. It's a very nice package, oversized artwork. And one of the great Tom King stories, in my opinion, that gets told, I upgraded. Did it make sense? Not really. I could have probably been fine. Same with Vision. I could have been fine with just the two trades of Vision, but I wanted to get them in book form. They were so special to me. So, I don't make any sense. Sorry. So if I were you, I'd upgrade. Now here's something I would not upgrade if you have. The three Star Wars by Jason Aaron books. This is getting an omnibus. But it's already, it's not going to be any bigger than these books. It may take up slightly less shelf space, but it's not going to be bigger than these books. I mean, it's not going to be any extra, I can't say it won't contain extra material, because it might. Now that's a consideration. But th these are already oversized hardcover pages. And to get an omnibus is really only makes sense if your name is the omnibus collector or, you know, Riley Moore or you, omnibus is your preferred format. You probably didn't buy these hardcovers then. You probably were smart and waited for it to come out in omnibus form when it's coming out soon. But if I were you and I have the oversized hardcovers like I do, I'm not upgrading to omnibus form. I'm keeping these oversized hardcovers. But Jess, what are you doing with the Darth Vader omnibus? It's the same situation, isn't it? Ah, I gave the two standard, not sorry, deluxe oversized hardcovers of this fantastic series to my daughter to read because she's such a Star Wars nerd and uses an excuse to uh, get the omnibus myself. So if I had not given those two books to my daughter, I would have kept the oversized hardcovers myself. But yeah, what am I doing? I don't know. I decided it was a good excuse. Now, this next book is a must-own upgrade. You must own it. All I had were the dinky trade paperbacks. 
I had read it in floppies, then dinky trade paperbacks, and then it came out in fantastic absolute form. That's Absolute Transmet. Absolute Transmetropolitan. Warren Ellis's magnum opus. It's three absolutes. Fabulous book. And to get it, this artwork on oversized pages like this, this is really amazing. This is a must upgrade. It's a no-brainer to get these when all you've got is the trades. Uh, I don't know if it was available in deluxe because all I ever had was the trades. So this was a no-brainer upgrade for me. I definitely recommend upgrading to the three volumes of Absolute Trans Metropolitan. It is one of the best things. I mean, Warren Ellis just writes book, great book after great book. This is one of his masterpieces, in my humble opinion. And the next one you probably already have in some form. Um, I chose Omnibus because I was sort of in an Omnibus kick when I got these books. Now, the third Omnibus is coming out now, completing the set, which makes it which makes my decision okay now, but I was kind of kicking myself that I hadn't gotten the absolutes. You probably own it in some form, Sandman. I've got it in a uh, very cool, non-dust jacketed um, omnibus with kind of a fake leather front. And they just announced Volume 3 will be coming out. Well, they just announced it last year, but Volume 3 will be coming out and completing the run, and so these will look really cool. I was kind of kicking myself because the Absolutes have some of that really nice artwork blown up. So in my opinion, if all you've got is the trades, you choose. Do you want an omnibus form, or do you want it in absolute form? Whatever your preferred format is, you can't make a mistake. Upgrading Sandman is the thing to do. And the last book is a book and format that I've never recommended before because it's so expensive. If you've got the cash, you really owe it to yourself to... <laughs> I hope I don't knock my computer over with this big thing. The Marvel's gigantic... I don't even know what they call it. The, the the Platinum Edition. This is one of the major books of the 90s that came out. Uh, it changed the way people read comic books. I think it was a landmark book, book by Busiek and Alex Ross. Um, and so I wanted to own this in oversized format because not only is the story fantastic, but of course... Okay, this is where I'm going to get in trouble and knock things over. Alex Ross's artwork is incredible. And you get it in these ginormous pages. Don't hurt yourself, Jess. You get it in these ginormous pages, and it is lifelike painting. Plus, it comes with a huge amount of extras in the back. Extra artwork, extra covers, covers of like everything Alex Ross has ever done for Marvel, scripts, breakdowns. It's got a ton of stuff and it's very heavy, so it's hard to read. But I mean, here's some of the extra covers that he did for Universe X and things. This was on, I mean, I would definitely try and get it on a discount. This is a $200 list price. This is a splurge book. But if any book deserves a splurge, ugh, it's Marvel's. One of my all-time favorite books. So consider upgrading to that if you've got the dosh and you really want to treat yourself. Consider upgrading to the gigantic platinum edition of Marvel's. So there we go. That is edition three of Should I Upgrade? Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button, the thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notified, 
and subscribe if you can. And all comments, I usually answer. Uh, I like answering all comments. So this is Omnidog saying thank you for tuning in. Peace and love. Peace and love.